Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Overwatch University series for Overwatch 2. My name is Arx. I, uh, I play a lot of Moira. And we're doing a an unranked to GM series, although realistically, we're not actually going to get to GM. And it's not because it's too much of a challenge for me to get an account from unranked to GM. We, I, I've done it before. It It's not very beneficial. So a lot of the unranked to GM series out there, it pretty much is a guide on how to get to GM by playing like a GM player until you're GM. And that's not what we're trying to achieve with this series. What we're trying to say is, okay, what is the minimum that you need to do to be able to win more of your games than you lose and therefore rank up with Moira? How can you get the easiest value out of the hero that will allow you to climb up through each of the ranks? That's it. So we're going to be simplifying everything about this hero. People will say it's, you know, a very easy hero anyway, but we are going to just simplify everything down. We're not going to be doing crazy fade jumps all over the map and uh, going full DPS in their backline. We may at some point, but yeah, this is this is this is the goal of it. So um, we're going to be playing ranked only. We're going to mute all of the chat in game because we're just not interested in what players have to say. Um, the communication's not needed. Also, it's not too beneficial from a teaching perspective because the players that we're going to get on both teams are random. So some games we may get good communication, some games we might get bad communication. Um, it doesn't really help us too much. So, Humanity is it's a new account. Hey guys, how's it going? We called the account Overwatch University. There's not enough characters for Moira University. Slight disclaimer, I am still sick. I'm going to try and talk through my thought processes as, as much as possible, but with the amount that I'm coughing, there may be times Welcome when I have to mute the microphone. Um, I do not know what rank we're actually playing at right now. First things first, let's get that out of the way. So we'll have a look at some of, because this is a newly placed account, so what's that? Plat 4? It's a new account, right? So I don't know where we're at. Um, okay, the sort of gold. We'll have to see with the placements, right? Where we where we actually end up. But it's a new account. We've not played competitive on it before. Um, let's see how it goes. More to do, more to learn. We're just gonna solo queue this entire series. So looking at our lineup. No, As of now, no, no. tank is monkey. Five, Got a Hanzo, four, Echo, three, and an Anna. Two, one. All right, fade out the spawn doors. Add a little jump on the end just to maximize distances. We're going to be primarily focused on keeping this tank alive. Um, with some orb bounces and just clean healing and then fading backwards when we need to take a break from the action. So I heard a Widow grapple. We're going to fade just in case she went for the jump shot. And now means we need to play a bit passive. There's a Bastion here as well, which is also bad news for us. That's going to be very difficult to keep the uh, monkey alive against him. When we're missing health, we're going to be looking for uh, any right-click opportunities that can help us sustain. And if we get too low, then um, we're going to heal all of ourselves. So right click just for some resources, we are getting low. The new damage orb change means we can fire that out to get some resources back. As you can see, we get a little chunk there. Quick press a tab. We see they've got an Orisa. Orisa, Bastion, Widow, and a Zen. So we want to stay as close to this robot as possible. Right click for survival, and we're going to fade back to join with our team. Our tank's already out there though, and he's kind of alone, and our team's getting pressured back. This is a slight problem. We're not going to be able to survive against this Bastion and this Orisa here. 
out of heals, so we're gonna fire a damage orb. Gets us a nice chunk of resources back now. Until we can find the right click opportunity, we wanna be applying heal over times as much as possible. Right clicks there. We're gonna have to fade this if the Bastion looks at us. Until then, we're pretty much free to just damage. Right, right clicks. Now in Nanode, we need to look for um, opportunities, but we've got to be careful of that Bastion. We're going to ping him. I bound G to ping and fade back. Okay, I think we're just going to run this. Right, it's a good swap from our tank. So Arissa swapped to Monkey now. That should give her a bit more survival against the Bastion and enemy Arissa. The problem that we've got is that it's really down to our DPS to take out that Bastion. Can't do anything about that, uh, but we will try and heal our Orisa up. Oh, fade back. We're letting our passive heal us, but we want to use a heal orb as soon as possible. Normally we would want to anyway, because we want to build ult charge. Right, we've got an ultimate. So, hanging out with the tank again. Yeah, it's more university. We're not, like, trying hard to win the game. We're just trying... At the moment, we're trying to gauge the amount of influence that we're going to need. And so we're starting off with just some very basic healing play. Like, mainly focusing with the tank. Healing when we can, right-clicking when we can. We're going to ult soon, because we don't want to hold on to our ult for very long. We're going to fire a damage orb first, and now we're going to pop ult. Even though we're focusing the Orisa at the moment, that should encourage a bunch of the healing. We're going to push aggressively. Zen in the back line. We're going to heal and damage the Bastion at the same time. We don't just want to kill everybody like with a Coalescence. Um, we've got an Orisa here. We can just uh, right click when we get in range, but otherwise we're going to heal our Orisa. There's a Sojourn as well. Damage orb and try and stay out of range, um, out of sight of the Railgun. We do have want to be pushing the um, objective whenever we can. That Sejon's really weak, but our team finishes them off. You have to give me a bit of time to get into the swing of this thing, by the way. Um, the Overwatch University series. Arissa looks like she's going to ult. We're going to fade out of that. And then stand by and look for any weak place that we can heal. Right clicks for survival. Let's go back towards our jump wrap. Oh. We hold down the fade button, create a little heal zone. We lost the orb anyway, but it's fine because it got us back to full. Get some vision of the enemy for a damage orb, recharge resources. And also, there's not much healing to do. We'll get our cooldown back before we need it. Quick press a tab. You can see still running the same composition. Right, they're pushing the bot. Here's our tank. Let's get the heals out. Damage orb when we can, because that's going to help us recharge our resources. We've heard a bastion behind us, so we're going to fade backwards. There's also a Sojourn Ultima, and they've got vision of me right now. I'm not going to be able to do much with the rest of the team, so let's just go damage. Let's see what we can do. Fade around the cart, see what we can do again. We're just uh, trying to block the bot as much as possible. Up, down orbs. Again, we're just standing around it, and we're just dealing damage to try and survive. And hey, look, we survived quite well. So let's fade back. Nothing complicated about that move, right? My condition has improved. If we died there, it's fine because we die with the rest of our team. Gotta watch out for the Sojourn Rail. If we can pressure her, we it would be very nice. Probably has a railgun charged up by now. Right, our tank. We've got a coalescence as well. Three ultimates on our team. We've got quite a lot of time left. Damage. Oh, bad timing. So as soon as Zenyata uses the um, Transcendence, we're immediately focused on healing and not damage. Try and keep all the players alive. And now we're going to be pushing the bot. We don't need to chase this. We need to start making up some uh, ground with the bot. Let's go and help them for a bit here. We don't want our Arisa to die. And we've got one player on the bot already. Alright, we've got no resources. So we will use a heal orb. And right click and then we'll fade away. I'm going to fade. See if we can get a little bit further. 
We're still following our heal orb. That's fine. We're keeping this very, very simple. Just a bit of healing. Playing pretty passive. Trying to stick with the tanks, but we'll see what we can do. The tank's still my priority here. We need our Orisa to win the Orisa versus Orisa match. That orb. I don't want to waste too much healing, like desperately trying to heal the DPS. They'll back off when they're low, and we can heal them when it's easier to do so. Running out of resources, so gonna right click. And we're gonna coalescence soon. Just looking for the rest of my team. Okay, we'll go and support that. There's a weak target. We're looking for the players who are on like low health. If we haven't got too much healing to do, then we wanna like glance over everybody with the coalescence and as soon as we see a player on low health, we're gonna just uh, focus them down. But if we can line up players on our team at the same time as shooting somebody in the back line, then we're gonna we're gonna do that. So we're just uh, on the bot here. So drawn. Oh, we've got to be careful of it. Right click the Moria for survival, and we use a damage or uh, heal orb out of the Orisa. Just keep the healing up again. Fade back because Orisa is coming straight at us. Right click for survival. Try and heal our bat. Still right click survival, the spear is going to come in, but it hits our Orisa. Fade back, see if we can keep her alive, but it looks like she's done for. So we're just going to heal up, try and build some ultimate while we run away. We're still following it, and we're just going to fade back because we know that our Orisa's died. And we need to join up with the rest of our team. Remember, they've still got to push the bot all around here. So we found a teammate. It's not a very... Uh, solid teammate to hang out with so we're still playing passive until our tank gets back our tank's got a long way to run right click for survivals bats immediately killed we really need our tank here okay we're gonna fade back try and join up with our wrist there's a coalescence active as well our wrist is gonna die Aye, this is not good right we've got to predict Arissa's route which is backwards and get a heal or bouncing there to save on some resources Right, we're running out of time here. We're going to fade as soon as we're out of sleep and coalescence. Okay, we don't need to fade. Anti needs to wear off on the Lucio. There we go. Right, we're hiding behind the wall for the visor. And just doing what we can. As soon as we heard Soldier 76 use visor, it was like, okay, we need to take cover because we are a high value target. Considering we're in an ult and there's nothing that we can do about it. So now we've got to follow this bot. There's not much time left. We're looking at the distances on the the objective. And we basically need to get it to the end and a little bit further. We can't lose our tank here. We, we really can't lose the tank here. So I'm going to invest a lot of healing into keeping them alive. Another healer. We're going to follow. Follow the healer forward. Right click for some resources. Take a bit of cover. We're going to need resources again soon. So we'll have to step out, right click something. We're going for the tank because it's like one of the biggest. We're going to fade out of this. We need to try and keep players alive. While auto contest the objective. I'm the only one alive. And no worries, it's a good effort. It was a great anti by the enemy Anna. Which meant that we could not get any more healing. Close game though. I might also add that when it comes to this first set of placements, I would be happy to lose more than I win. Because whenever you're playing on a new account, it's almost like they exaggerate your MMR gains and uh, losses to try and get you placed in the correct ranking faster. So if I win too many of these ones, we might accelerate our rank too much. So I'm not too bothered if we lose a lot of these and get placed lower because I'd like to be somewhere around the like gold ranks rather than top plat like silver gold would be ideal welcome to circuit royale prepare to attack select your hero 
Right, when you're playing Moira, the thing that you want to see, first of all, is your tank. I need to know what tank choice I've got, because that's going to dictate virtually everything on how I play. Humanity is shackled. I will find the key. I promise to take this one serious. The next thing I need to look at is my support, co-support. Kiriko in general, high healing. Much lies in store. Let us see to it. But depends on how they're gonna play. We still haven't had a tank pick. Hey there, Moira. How have you been? Busier than you, I'd assume. <laughs> I missed you too. DPS are DPS that we can well apply away. healing to, which is nice. They're not overly mobile. But as of right now, we don't have a tank. Four, three, two, one. Okay, we gotta hope they join in a minute. So it's gonna fade out of the door, take cover. We see an Ash heal up because they're out of heal range. Trying to apply what we can, but it's mostly about building ultimate here. Okay, we've got Orissa again. That's good because it just means we need to follow them. Gonna throw a damage orb. Sigma might eat it, so we threw it slightly to the side. Gonna fade that so I don't take unnecessary damage. We've got a Mercy now instead of the Kiriko. Right click, help break that. Right, there's a, a low player up there. Not a low player, but um, an exposed player that we can try and use to build some resources off of. Any opportunities that are tanks good health, we wanna try and right click either the Sigma or shields. When our Arissa gets too low, we'll fire a heal orb. Okay, we're just gonna go into this doorway. Arissa's still good health. Wait for her to get her cooldowns back. We heard those noises in there. Gonna throw a damage orb in there because it might put any pressure on them if they stay in that room and just force them to go out. We're also trying not to heal when Aris is on the other side of the barrier. Okay, we're gonna bounce an orb because we can't fire one there. It would just lose too much value. More right clicks, watch the trap on the floor. Arissa just walked over it, there's another one. So that Junkrat is still in that room, so we're gonna want to try and um, put some pressure on him in there. Oh, the trap killed him. Bob's active. Bob, by the way, is a great right click opportunity. Gonna fade back because our tank's dead. Mercy might go down here. Heal orb forwards. Not sure if we can save the Cassidy. We're also out of resources, so right clicks. I know the junk wants healing, but we'll do a bunch of right clicks. Damage orb because the Sigma's low. Might be able to finish him off. We do. Where's our tank at? Until then, we're focused on the objective. I could chase down players and put pressure, but let's just... Let's just go baby steps, right? We're trying to get this objective to the end. That is the ultimate goal for us. Killing the players, staggering players, it's all optional extras. These um, little barriers on this map are really nice for firing orbs on. If you just shoot them at there, they seem to always curl around the corner and basically uh, where the enemy is playing from. Gotta watch that high ground. We're just gonna try and apply heal over times. Nice shooting from the ash gets a double headshot. Or maybe one headshot the second one. Nice shooting. Fade out of spawn. Our tank's dead. Um, okay. We've got ultimate. Which is nice. We may have to fade through to a slightly more aggressive position so that we don't just get shot at by the ash from the high ground. When you move to aggressive positions, having your heal orb available when you take damage is kind of important. So I'm going to fire a damage orb at that barrier because remember I said those barriers are really good. You see how it's hitting players and it's still hitting them? You can pretty much fire at any of these barriers, right? I'll fire it there. That'll do. Let's see if that gets hit. Yeah, it's hitting players, right? They're really good for uh, damage orbs. Yo, thank you very much for the sub. I appreciate that. Cassidy's a bit out of range. Same goes with heal orbs, by the way. When you fire them anywhere, they, they sort of work out around there. We've used quite a lot of ultimates, so I don't want to use Coalescence, but I'm going to use it now because we ran out of resources. Trying to line the Orissa up with any other target in the background that I can shoot at. So notice how I'm, I'm moving my position so that my beam is healing the Orissa, but also trying to hit somebody else, because the more targets that we hit, the better value we get. We hear the noises, we see the projectiles coming in, so just going to focus on cart. Mercy can uh, do the work to keep that Cassidy alive. In the meantime, we're just trying to dodge spam. Apply some heal over time. So we're going to 
fire again at these barriers. A damage orb to build our resources. Thank you, Blizzard, for that change. It's very handy. It means we don't have to push forward with right clicks too much these days. That's a lot of damage on us, so we're going to try and heal up. Notice how we're always trying to go for, like, flat bounces on the heal orb so that we get the fly back. The... So it flies back to us, right? It's a very important part of Moira. That barrier again. We just fire one at there. You see how it seems to always head around in the right direction? I'm going to fade up to try and catch up with our Arissa. She's running away. Heal orbs mostly for ourselves. We did walk in a straight line, though. And to be honest, I thought that we were going to get killed by the Ash. Not the junk right there straight line and jumping not good movement but we're trying to simplify things so their dps are having a very big effect on the game and at this point is where i'd be saying right okay how can we minimize their impact or help our players against their dps like their tank doesn't seem to be much of an issue at all. Trap on the floor, we can do our bit and try and kill that. Heal up for ourselves because we're low. Right click him. Okay, watch the mercy. Arissa's a bit alone here. We want to try and get up with him as we can. So we're going to start trying to fire these damage orbs at the DPS a bit more just to apply some pressure. So rather than just blindly firing for resources, we're going to try and like... Just any bit of pressure we can put on them, because so far the DPS have been causing us lots of issues. Bounce the damage orb off of there, because it'll go around the corner where they're most likely to take cover. Right click for uh, resources. Right click for survival. Fade the rock. Just going to get some space, because it's a bit chaotic, and then we're going to pop ultimate. Trying to heal, 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 but we're also trying to clear the objective, because the objective's the primary part here. Notice how we got the objective? Yeah, our tank died. But it doesn't matter because our tank's spawning there, right? We got the objective and that was the primary goal. So I could dangerously run in to like the, uh, into round the corner, put myself in danger to try and keep the Orissa alive. But the Orissa was doing her job. Sorry guys, I, I am kind of focused. Right, Bob, let's just get round the corner and we should be okay. We'll heal up him so that we can stay with our tank a bit more. Uh, we're going to have to fade. I looked for anywhere I could fade to that was safe from the threats. Right click. Arissa might go down here. We're going to heal orb as an emergency. Bob will have expired by now. Right click for resources. Have a quick look over there. See if we can, uh, again, the same strategy before. Oh, block the res, block the res, block the res. No one did. Right, their tank's alive again. He's going to keep contesting. Going to fade out of the ultimate ability. There's a tire as well. That's going to get our tank for sure. No, it's me. That's fine. It was one of us. There's definitely going to be one of us. No opposition is insurmountable. It's sort of not worth trying to fire that heal orb at him because it would only be building me ult charge. Like if, if but it's going to stagger him because he's he's like definitely dead there, right? We're just going to let the passive or our mercy heal us up a bit before we step back around the corner. Can try and heal that. He actually fell down. Fade out of here because I'm in trouble. Like, let me just get some uh, health back again. Bounce an orb. We're nearly going ult, and we're going to uh, use this as soon as possible with a damage orb first. Fade into a new position, and we're going to ult. Watch out for the Sigma Rock. That's the thing that's going to stop us here. Want to try and get healing over onto the Orisa? Right. Right click, right click, because it's, it's Bob, right? It's free. I'm not too bothered about damage orbing the Bob here. Let's bounce a heal orb, because I don't expect there to be many enemies coming in soon. Right, we've got a Kiriko orb. We want to stay reasonably passive, but we've still got to move the objective. Heal orb bounce hopefully gets the Cassidy with something. Don't want to C9 it, we're going to hide behind the payload. Right, we're on fire, so fade into this little room, create a little heal zone for ourselves so that we can now stand and contest the pay, uh, the objective. Sigma's on us, we're just going to right click him, but we're in our orb as well, so until there's a rock, we don't really need to care about him. There's a rock, we're going to fade it, and our team's moving forward. Those little heal zones, you see we set one up here, we're looking for double flat bounces, even here is a little heal zone, and we, we play within this zone. 
And that'll keep us alive, like, against the Tracer that's coming in, right? We'll do it again. We're just keeping our team alive. Just trying to get some resources. Resources. Carts move forward. We'll try another bounce. We're creating these heal zones. Let's break the shields. High noon needs to be protected. Gotta make sure we're not in that. If we were, we'll fade it. We'll fade now because we took a bunch of damage from a tracer. Echo's low. Can we do it? We've got an ultimate, but we've got to watch out that someone's staying on the point. So, again, we're just trying to uh, line up where we can. Can we kill some players? Moira's coming onto the point. We'll right click more than healing now because there's not much damage to do. And a heal zone and completing the map in overtime. Nice. So we did 12k healing and 4.8k damage. And we only had four deaths with a very passive approach. Prepare your defenses. Select your hero. So we don't know what rank this is yet. It's it looks like it's somewhere. I mean, we'll have a look at the other players. So when we can find anyone that's not got private. Honestly, no idea. Come on. Where's somebody without private? Is it going to be a... Oh, 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 oh. Shackled. I will find the key. Okay. So that's a gold plat kind of player. All right, we need to get out here anyway. I think private profiles are a good thing. These barriers, you can pretty much fire them anywhere, right? And it bounces around the corner. So, bear in mind, I fired that here. So, even from all the way back here, I could fire that. Let's fire an orb to their spawn because that'll allow us to then apply some heal over times. And if it hits anybody, we'll get resources back. Damage orb. Let's fire it against the barrier. Gets us some resources back. There's an echo behind. He went over the wall. We've got to try and help our mercy, but we've got to be conscious of our tank. Heal zone there. I want to help the Mercy, but honestly, our front line's more important right now. Because we're the ones contesting the objective. We need to right-click something. We need resources. We've got to get this Arissa up high, because when Laser comes in, Arissa's dead. Okay, we're still following our heal orb, notice. before yeah we're doing we're doing it very we're playing the basics right now we're trying to simplify it as much as possible i don't feel like he's oh i'm sorry Reaper. you were surviving a lot better than i thought you were i'd given up on him i didn't want to commit myself to going there i right, watch out for rail guns we're gonna fire a, fire a heal orb because our team look like they're advancing so we want it to bounce there See if we can get some right clicks on the Echo, because not only does it pressure them, any right clicks that we do get on the Echo will uh, make their Mercy heal and stop damage amping. Oh, we got squished by the Diva. Great play from her. Did not see her come in. Just jump down and squish. Right, we're going to fade out a spawn. It'll jump on the end. Looks like most of our team are going down here. So we don't want to commit to the drop down. Team are retreating, so we try and aim an orb that bounces that it will then follow them. Right, here's where we will fade backwards because it gives Mercy a shift opportunity to uh, escape to a player. Moira's going aggressive, so we want to punish her for this. Okay, even on Mercy's trying to do it. Their aggressive push was actually really good because they still had a player on the cart and they've got the objective now. Damage orb off this back wall because we'll believe that it's going to go down that ramp where all the players are, right? That'll build us some resources. Right click the echo, bit of pressure. I don't want to be too accurate with it. Okay, where's a flat bounce? I can't see one. I'm actually going to fire a damage there. Right, we're going to fade backwards and hide. I'm actually going to coalescence, but we've still got to stay hidden because of the uh, Sojourn. Reaper's in there. Try and get 
heals on Reaper. Stay moving. Damage orb because it looks like our team are the ones pushing forward. Mercy's really hard to hit, but we can try and get like a bit of right clicks on, on her. Damage orb again because we're pushing forward. We're just spraying the healers. Heal orb against the coalescence and then we need to right click. If we get low, we're looking at our health. If we get low, we fade. This is dead. Right. We'll fade when we get chased here. And just try and get back towards our team. They are pretty much all dead. Heal zone. If this echo pushes us, we might be able to get some right clicks. I'm not going for that Reaper. Like, we're better off waiting for the tank than going out there for our Reaper. Now we can, because the Reaper's done great work to keep himself alive. Until then. Hide from the bomb. Right, we go to here and then we're going to fade back as soon as somebody starts shooting us. Oh, not good. Heal orb for myself, but also trying to follow it and find the Orisa. Fade back because there's too much craziness over there. Just take a second to assess the situation. We've got no resources. Going to fire a damage orb and then just try and right click and heal the Orisa. There's a Cassidy shooting me. Going to fade back. Heal orb off of those magical barriers again. Reaper's low. Reaper's a really good target, by the way, for Moira to heal. Okay, we're going to hide from this. As soon as this is over, we're going to try and work out if uh, we need to use Coalescence or not. So there's a Moira on us. We'll use her for some resources. Okay, try and keep our other support alive. Our tank is priority. I don't care about the Cassidy. Right click for resources, because... Not much more healing needs need to be done. Mercy gets the res over onto the Echo. We took damage, so we'll just heal up to heal ourselves. So if I always, like, have a, an escape route in the back of your mind. Like, if I get put under pressure, I kind of want to go around to this corner. Or, like, over here somewhere, right? Just where I can, I can take a step. Have a look at everybody and be like, right, do I need to heal? Do I need to damage? Right click for some resources. We'll coalescence this fight because we don't want to hold it forever. Alright, only 60 seconds left. Check for the C9. There's no one there. There is someone still around here. We're hearing footsteps. Reaper's going very aggressive. I don't really like it because there's 37 seconds left and I'd rather the enemy team waste a lot of time running up here than pushing them too aggressive. Our resources are good, but if we bounce a damage orb to go down that ramp again, whenever it gets hit, we can start applying heal over time for free. And it's not going to, like, do our resources. I hear footsteps coming up here. Always be listening. Right, take a little step back. I think about now they might have a diva bomb though, so we just gotta be we gotta be aware of that. That trying to save our fade. There's the bomb. We're gonna need to fade this. There's a Moira behind us. Heal zone. Don't panic. She's not very strong. She is being damage amp though. We want to try and follow our heal orb, and if we need to, we'll fade again. Moira's not that scary. She just uh looks a bit scary when she's aggressively fading onto you. We don't want that tank to get our mech back again, so we want to right click. Okay, heal our Cassidy. Where's our tank? Our tank's in good health, so we're going to right click. We're focused on our tank right now. Oh, she did get the remech. Right, we haven't used our orb for a while. Let's uh do that. Okay, fade back, fade back, fade back. Still want to keep our tank healthy. We're still okay. Stand in that and fire out damage orbs. Just uh, do what we can whenever we can. And because it's overtime, let's coalescence. There we go. Nice, nice and clean. Nothing too crazy. I think the key takeaways in that were sound. Sounds really, really help to hear certain footsteps and where they're coming from. It'll recharge your resources, but um, 
one of one of the things with Moira is that it's no secret that Moira doesn't require amazing aim, right? So we should use that to try and hit the targets that our team might struggle at hitting. You think a baby diva for um, a lot of heroes in the game is quite difficult to hit, but it's not that hard for Moira to hit. So we're actually a really good hero to right click on her because otherwise our team are going to be mace, uh, wasting a load of bullets that they could be using elsewhere on targets they can actually hit. Because every missed shot by them is Welcome it's lost value. So when you get like speedy Lucios and Mercies and things like that, it's quite useful for the Moira to right click, but only if they're not getting heals and you know, it's just utilize the fact that we have reliable damage. It's a bit of utility for our team. Humanity is shackled. I will find the key. Hey, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I enjoyed the vacation. It was good, but I'm a bit sick at the moment. I have not. So I don't know how long I'm gonna do this more university video for. Right, we need to talk about the fact that we've got a ball. This changes everything. Right, we are not going to be able to chase a ball around all the time. That is highly inefficient. Looking at our team, we're not going to chase a Genji around all the time. Junkrat might be our most reliable pocket here. Kiriko as well. Which means we're going to be a bit of a lone agent. Which means I'm quite happy to start following my own heal orbs around. Dealing damage to players when I can. Rather than trying to keep my tank alive. When the ball comes near to us, we'll try and heal. Now the bad news for us is that they've got a Roadhog. Roadhogs are scary. We're going to fade back because he was looking at me like he's going to hook. And we go forward because he's no threat while the uh, hook's off cooldown. Now one really cool thing about Moira's fade and Roadhog's hook is if you do successfully fade a hook, you can use your fade as a timer for when his next hook is available. When your fade's available, he's going to have a hook available again. So we've taken the objective, which is key. We want to stay where we think the ball's going to retreat to rather than chase the ball. Okay. See, we're not, like, really chasing the, the ball around. But we're uh, standing where we think the ball might go back to. Fire a damage orb, it helps build resources, help our Genji. We need to right click. I'm fine with doing this. If he goes to stick us or anything, we're just going to fade away. So we go in close, knowing that um, there are threats there. And as soon as we're put under any pressure at all, we fade. Now fades back up again, we can kind of do the same thing. Got to watch out for other players. But we're at the moment, we're just holding the objective. Not really involved in this fight, but Brig can't cap it while we're on here. So... damage all because we're not doing too much else right now we're on 60 percent we're perfectly happy to be in this situation there's a bad stick from the cassidy he's in that little room gonna heal orb and we'll follow it while we're low brick's chasing us we're gonna fade because we're in so much danger look i just went as far out as i could we'll assess the situation we'll come back in once our uh, new Overwatch 2 support passive kicks in and regenerates all our health. So if you're in danger, just try and fade back. Maximize the fade dif distance. I don't want to see you going like this. Uh, and hitting the walls. Like, look. Go. Long distance. If Tracer wants to chase me down, I want to see a bunch of blinks. I hear footsteps somewhere over here. There he is, the hog. We're just going to fade back. Hog hooks are scary. We heard him use our hook, his hook, so we can go back in. Rally's a bit scary. We're gonna use our coalescence here. Trying to heal players, but uh, also if we get opportunity to deal damage. Heal zone here, and now we'll, we'll play from this spot. That keeps us safe. We don't have to rely on our second support. Now they've got fewer players. We want to try and clean them up. So we bounce the damage orb off of there because we know it's going to go somewhere in that zone where the enemy players are. 
place is a bit of a threat. They've got a Reinhardt here as well. Gonna orb in the middle because it looks like a load of players are in there for cover. Including myself now. Oh, Junkrat. Okay, nice. We didn't die that game and all we did was sit on the point. I mean, that round was as basic as you like, right? We sat on the point, and as soon as we put under pressure, we faded as far away as possible. We turned around, we looked, we came back in, our support passive got our health back up again. If we needed more, we heal orb for ourselves. And it was just a case of firing orbs, managing resources, and healing any players that come close to us. That was it. We, did, we didn't do anything spectacular. There was only maybe the awareness on, like, things like the Roadhog hooks and the Cassidy positions. When you're running down these stairs, if you fire a heal orb off this mid uh, damage orb off this middle window, it bounces through the opposite side and will start dealing damage to players over there. I was really late firing it, but it's just a good start orb spot. Little heal zone for us. At the back of the point, we're going to right click the shield because we can't miss it and it's just going to help us out. Fade this. We go into the room where our heal orb is. Kiriko, nice escape. We got hit by a fire strike. We're just still playing on this on this one plane, right? gonna fade let's uh, set up another one of those zones our team can use it if they retreat we've got a reaper on us We're gonna fade because sojourn's shooting at us and we, so we fade out and it looks like enemy team's gonna get this so uh back we go junkrat's still gonna spam in though heal resources are good so i don't need to go crazy with right clicks a load of us took damage from the Moira orb, so we just fire an orb there. Right, they're in that room at the back, and I want to throw a damage orb in there just to basically annoy them and, like, zone them. They've, they've left there since then, actually, but it's still good for scouting information. Help contribute with some damage in the downtime. An orb that's flat off this back wall. You see where we fired it there? Watch where that orb goes. Right? It comes back towards our team again. Taking that extra second... To line that up means I've just created a massive heal zone around the point. Look at look at that orb. It's still healing. It comes back, right? Still healing. We take half a second to just find these flat walls. You can do one here, right? If you want it a bit tighter, you can do one on this side to side. Anywhere where you fire those orbs, you get huge value from them. Like I can basically just fire an orb in this direction. And it comes back and, oh, it started healing my team. A little late, but... All right, we're going to right click here. Reapers are putting us under pressure. We'll fade back out of there. We've still got teammates in there. That's not good. We just panic fired an orb there and we're following it. Try and block the point. Does it look like it's worth calling? No, nope, but we'll try and stall the point, right? The ball's doing the same thing as us. So we put a little heal zone out and we just ran around and try and try and get a bit more objective time. Nothing else to achieve. And when we respawn, we're respawning at the same time as all of our team anyway. Evolution is a painful path. Well, our team did die a second time. Right, enemies currently winning. We don't hugely need to wait for our tank, but our tank provides a lot of threat. Or should I say disruption that allows us to move forward. The ball's playing actually really well. We want to use our coalescence when we can. That reaper's there. I've got... Um, it bound to G, my ping. We stay out of range of the ult, but then we damage... Ryan's looking like he wants to shatter, so I'm going to fade backwards. We might have just been having a look. I still want to use this Coalescence, but there's just too many threats around at the moment. Like, I'm, I'm terrified of the shatter coming in when I use the Coalescence. I use it now because of range. I think I'm still going to get shattered, though. Lots of our team are weak. There's the shatter why I was staying behind here right nothing to lose here so we get some distance right click anything right I'm looking at the stats I don't care too much about the enemy team what we can see is the enemy sojourns putting out quite a lot of damage um, 
What I am seeing is that our tank is actually putting out a lot of damage for the ball. But who's the standout DPS player right now for our team? Hey, Junkrat. You got 21 eliminations and 8.3k damage. Now I've got an option, right? Do I try and make my Soldier 76 with only 4.7k damage better? Or should I try and enhance the good player? So in this situation, I want to do everything I can to get this junk rat. And I, since I'm not really pocketing the tank, I want to try and enhance my junk rat as much as possible because junk rat is doing work. So we're going to give the junk rat extra special attention because of how they're performing. We give Soldier 76 a little bit, right? Paid. Okay, my junk rat died though. We bounce it on the top there so it still hangs around in the point rather than throw it so the pipe gets fired out the window. Right click for some resources. Nice shot. Alright, we get 30% of the point. Spiral damage orb, we need to build some ult charge. It also means every time that hits, we can apply a little heal over time on our players. Meanwhile, Anna giving their Moira ult charge. They charge very aggressively. Running low on resources. Follow the heal orb in. So our junk rats are now the Genji. Let's counter call this. We've got to stay out of shatter range and also watch out for the Sojourn ult that was just used. Can't do anything about that. I've got to play passively because of the uh, abilities they just used. We use Minefield. We want to go in and try and use that. Okay, we're going to fade out of here. Moira might chase us, so we've got to look to right click her if she does. Your assistance is appreciated. We invested quite a lot in that one. Right, we've got Soldier 76 ult and we've got a nano boost. The play is basically written. Watch. Oh. So taking them off the map. I want to get in here and watch the shatter. Get ready to fade. I'm poised on the fade key. Okay, Sojourn put a load of pressure on us, so we're just going to fade out. Come back in because it's better than dying. Heal orb somewhere around the point. Nice kills. We need to be looking to uh, clear up players. We want to cap the objective as quick as possible before they stall it. I'm not putting too much effort into aiming. I'm just kind of, I'm doing this because I don't want to just like track them perfectly because we're trying to handicap ourselves at this rank. We don't want to be like perfect aiming or anything. Oh, he's in trouble. Right, Cassidy went up top. We've got to be aware of a high noon coming up there. I'm going to sort of stay around here. Now I can't. Oh, there's danger everywhere. We're just running. Go see if there's the Mega in here. There's not. Heal orb. Any direction because it's a panic heal orb. Got to look at the time left. Because there's not that much time left. We do have a ball to try and get a touch though. It's not looking good for us. We've got players in there. We need to... There's no time if they die here. So we need to get in and get aggressive. Got to worry still about this shatter. But we have to get involved here. Because if they, our two players that were on the point died there. We're just right clicking anything. Just a heal orb somewhere and we're going to fade to where our heal orb is. We're kind of safe in the minefield. Sojourn's putting a lot of pressure on us though, so we're trying to dodge her. Another heal orb somewhere, anywhere. Uh, 
So that's bad for us. With our ball down again, watch the shatter. Fade out now. There's a Sojourn ult. But we need to still stay active and around the point. Dodge the Reinhardt. Alright, oh, we've got to fade this, but time it. Okay, that's game. We've got a blade coming in. Oh, Farah gave up. That's fine. I don't think there's enough time in there. But we do have a ball, which is kind of irritating. Because with the ball stalling for this long, Farah could have actually got back into the game. No worries. It was a good, good try from our team. I think we did quite well. Yeah, the junk crap was quite good.